Okay, let's talk about slow Bluehost hosting. Um, okay, so Bluehost is a what's called a shared host. So in a nutshell, Bluehost dirt cheap is dirt cheap. Um, the way they make money is stacking 10,000 other sites on the same server. So it's more than likely that your site on Bluehost is going to be slow and is going to have a lot of downtime. So my number one recommendation here would be to move hosts. Um, sorry to say, but you'll just never get a, a Bluehost site performing reliably. Now, if you want to check the uptime on a Bluehost host, um, which I recommend you should because you'll find it's down so often. Um, there is a tool we use called Uptime Robot. It's a free version. So I'd recommend setting that up and you'll see just how bad Bluehost hosting is in terms of performance and reliability. Now, three hosts we'd recommend as an alternative SiteGround. Um, so SiteGround is another shared host, but they are probably the best of all the shared hosts and probably would be the minimum host, uh, minimum level we'd recommend as an entry point into WordPress hosting. Um, so check out SiteGround. The price is comparable to Bluehost. Um, so yeah, and you'll find a site. You you know, the cost is roughly the same. You find the site performs a lot better. Now, ideally, if you're making money off your WordPress site, it should be on the best hosting you can afford. So, in that case, we would either recommend WPX Hosting, which is a fantastic managed WordPress host. It's a good balance between price and performance. Or if you want the best, WP Engine is probably the way to go. Um, WP Engine is a managed WordPress host also, but it does a bunch of extra things on top of what WPX Hosting does. So those would be the things I'd recommend. So Bluehost is just generally slow. Um, it's not high quality hosting, so it'll be tough to get hosting to go fast on Bluehost. So that would be what I recommend you do, look at on alternatives. Now, there's really, if, if you don't want to move hosting, there's probably a few things that you should look at. One is getting caching set up and sorted. Um, so install a caching plugin. Now W3 Total Cache is the fastest caching plugin, but it's super technical to set up. Um, so unless you're tech savvy, I'd recommend a different plugin, WP Rocket. So WP Rocket is really designed for the DIY. It is a paid plugin, but well worth it. Um, so I'll have links to both of those uh, in the notes there. So a caching plugin. The next one would be set up Cloudflare. So Cloudflare is a content delivery network and it sits in front of your Bluehost hosting. Um, and what it will do, it will take a lot of load off the hosting. Um, so that will probably immediately speed things up and make the hosting more reliable and it's free. So there should be an option inside your cPanel. So I just go and turn that on um, and it will be active pretty much immediately. So that'll be another thing that was a nice and easy fix that will speed it up immediately. The next one will be to switch the site to HTTPS. So that's uh, SSL or encrypted mode. So what that will enable you to do from a speed perspective, it enables visitors to the website to use the newer HTTP2 protocol versus the older version 1.1. So uh, version 2 is much faster than 1.1, but you need an SSL certificate to use it. And I recommend doing this before, or sorry, after you set up Cloudflare. Um, so in a nutshell, what happens with the new version 2 protocol is um, well, with the old version 1, say you had 100 things to download for a page like images, CSS files and everything else, then the web browser would have to make 100 connections to the web server in order to download a page. With the new version 2 protocol, it makes one single connection, so everything downloads one connection. So, you know, it, with the old version, that was 100 connections to the server. With the new version, that's one connection. So, obviously, a lot less network overhead, so it just it loads much snappier, which is particularly important if you have an image-heavy website. Um, I'll also include a video that will highlight the difference between the two. It shows you a comparison between the old version and the new version. So that's a and and Bluehost has free Let's Encrypt certificates, so um, that'd be worth doing. Um, and then two others would be to use image compression. So we use a free plugin called WP Smush. There is also paid plugins. Um, I'll list those there. But basically, what they do is compress the images. So um, use loss less compression, which is same file quality, less image size. There's also lossy compression, which we generally never recommend using. So that's smaller file size, but also reduce quality. But uh, we'll, we'll add some links to that and some alternatives. And then also switching from PHP 5.6 to PHP 7. So PHP is the operating or the programming language that uh, WordPress sits on top of or works off. 
So uh, the old version of PHP 5.6 has now been superseded by a new version, version 7, which is two to three times faster. So that translates to roughly a 30% increase in site speed. So uh, I'd recommend doing that. Now there is a plugin you can use that, well, you need to check compatibility of your plugins first um, before making the switch. Otherwise things might break, particularly if you have an older site. So what I recommend is there's a plugin provided by WP Engine that you can use on any website, regardless of hosting. So run that plugin it will tell you what plugins are compatible, what you know, if there's any issues with the plugins or if there's an issue with your theme. And then the next step would be to go and manually check to make sure that they are compatible because sometimes the plugin throws up warnings and the theme or plugin will already be compatible, so it'll be okay. And then uh, if all is good, then change to version 7. So there's version 7.0, 7.1, 7.2. I'd probably recommend just using 7.0 as it's going to be the most compatible so uh, make that change and you'll you'll see particularly in the back end or anything you're doing that's processing or like editing pages or updating pages you'll find are just much more snappy with um, version 7 of php um so that's pretty much it in a nutshell so you know bottom line is bluehost is just a slow host so um my number one recommendation would be to get off bluehost if you care about your site if you're making money off it it would pay to use a better host if you're not going to do that look at caching look at cloudflare switch to https and compress your images those are really the big speed wins there